Shalom, shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Ruchach Rosh. want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the peace and blessings to the Most High as elect. So, Brother Yagadal Amar, back with another lesson. And uh, I just wanted to go into endurance and dealing with the tribulations that we currently are facing. Okay, not forgetting the tribulations we have overcome through the spirit of the, of the Heavenly Father and His Son. Okay, through the Ruch HaKodash. Okay, and as well as the heightened tribulations that we are soon to face, man. And we have to continue to, to build ourselves up. Okay, be a stronger member of the body. All right, be stronger individually. Okay, because that's when the main fight happens is when you're by yourself, man. Okay, but if you're really looking at the overall picture, picture Okay, of this salvation, appreciating the brotherhood, you know that you fighting and overcoming your demons and your uh uh the hell that the most I have designed for you is gonna better the brotherhood, man. All right, if you see yourself or uh, you truly are hoping to be one of the elect, okay. So uh, I'm gonna get straight into the scriptures, man, and Lord willing that be some edification. But this is uh the book of Ephesians, chapter three and verse twelve. It says, we'll start up with verse uh, verse 11. It says, according to the eternal purpose, which he purposed in Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, our Lord, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him. Okay, so through Yahweh Shai, we have boldness, all right, in the spirit and confidence in our faith, man. Okay. So we uh, uh, stand on that, man. Okay. So when we come into different situations where we catching hell, man, uh, and sometimes you got to know if you catching hell for righteousness sake or you might be getting judged, man. OK, either way, you got to uh, take this hell, man. OK, and the tribulations that come upon us, man, and stand in the confidence and boldness of Yahweh Shai. OK, so it says uh, verse 13, this is the point. It says, wherefore, I desire that ye faint not. And my tribulations for you, which is your glory, man. So the tribute, us fighting through these tribulations, it uh, leads to our glory, man. Okay, all right. And we already seen uh, see a uh, get a form of that glory through this receiving the understanding of this word, man. All right. While the rest rest of these people are remaining in darkness, man. All right, in captivity, we are being free, free through the spirit, man. Okay, because we have uh. Heard and believe the truth of Yahweh Yahweh Shai, okay? And part of that truth is letting us know that we was going to have to go through certain things to obtain the promise, man, which is the kingdom of heaven, okay? A quick precept, this is uh, Acts chapter 14 and verse 22. It says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in faith, man. All right, this is all it to... Uh, 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 all these words that the men of the Lord, the prophets, the disciples, all right, the apostles themselves spoke, all right, was for the men that they were speaking to to continue into the faith, as uh, are, are the same thing today, man. All right, starting with the apostles on down, okay. Everybody that's teaching in sincerity is in hoping that the, the they bring edification unto the church, which is the Israelites, man. Right now, it's the, the elect. Out of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay? It says, and that we must, key word, must, three, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. So you got to think about that, man. We ain't going through much tribulation right now, man. We still able to have uh, somewhere to lay our uh, head down carefully, uh, uh, have a, a source of income coming in steadily. You can eat drink you can move around uh uh with a certain uh liberties depending on what uh uh area you're in dealing with this COVID nineteen BS. Okay? But we ain't going through no much tribulation. So right now that's letting you know that we have to be preparing ourselves and strengthening ourselves through the spirit, all right, and praying to the Heavenly Father first off for that strength, all right, and that new increase in the spirit. Okay, for when we are seeing much tribulation, which is soon to come, man. Okay? And that's what we fighting, uh, fighting to, to uh, uh, not just get through certain tribulations, but everything the Most High. If you be able to elect everything the Most High put forth, you gonna, uh, uh, you gonna conquer it. All right, and the power uh, that was given unto you, man, it's not of our own. Okay, so real quick, this is uh, Matthew, 
chapter 10 and verse 38, it says, and he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me, man. So if we want to be uh, uh, seen to be worthy of uh, Yahweh Shai, okay, we have to do as he did, man. We got to take up, and it said take up your cross daily, man. All right. Salakia, that's not the uh, scripture that said it. Don't read that one more time, and I'm going to grab the precept to that where it actually says daily. But this is Matthew 10 and 38 again. It says, And he that taketh not his cross and followeth me is not worthy of me. Okay? So I'm going to grab the other account uh, uh, in the book of Luke. In one quick second. Con, this is uh, Luke chapter 9 and verse 23. It says, and he said unto them all, if any man come after me, let him deny himself and take up the cross daily and follow me, man. And that's what the most High, hopefully Lech is doing, man. The men of the Lord are, are uh, taking up that cross daily and following that lamb with us wherever he goeth, man. Okay. But it still let him deny himself, man. Okay. That's what we have to do. That's the whole point of us being uh, waking up to uh, waking to this truth. All right, was so we can begin becoming a new man, okay, and putting off our old ways, man, okay, because our old way was always would do as the uh, world taught you was look for the easy way out, man, okay, go with whatever was gonna satisfy you instead of suffering so you could obtain a greater reward, man, okay. So uh, just to finish the point, it says, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever will lose his life for my sake the same shall save it man so that's gonna come with some suffering man okay not saying lose your life but saying lose the uh uh you lose the status or the way of your life all right to start a a, a, a true life man because the life that we the so-called life that we had was a dead state spiritually man because we didn't know who we are we didn't have no breath in us okay all right, now we die to the world, but we live in Yahweh Shai because that's the only life. He's the way unto the kingdom, so that's the only way to truly live is through Yahweh Shai. Okay. Elsewise, then uh, uh, this you, you're not doing shit, man. But it tell you, we got to stand like it said in Ephesians. We got to stand in that confidence of the Lord, man. Okay, if you lost your life, you got to have confidence that if you sacrifice your so-called life here in Babylon for Yahweh Shai. Okay, then you're going to receive a reward, man. Reward. And the most high rested a certain spirit on men to where they wouldn't fear these things, man. Okay? That they knew and understood that and, for, and able for them to uh, obtain the kingdom of heaven, there was going to be certain things that they were going to have to go through that wasn't going to be a, a easy, man. Okay? Losing the woman that you uh, uh, supposedly loved. Okay? Not having... Uh, uh, to be able to have rule over your children, okay? All right? And the only way to, to do that is to bow down to the world. But if you stand firmly for this word, then all these things are going to become opposition unto you, man, because they're not, uh, 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 the rest of the world is not walking uprightly, man. Okay? Let me grab another precept. This is, um, 1 Peter chapter. 4 and 12, it says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial. And what is a trial, man? A testing, man. That's all we're doing is going through mo uh, uh, a multiple tests to come out uh, uh, pure and uh, 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 unto Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Okay? It says, Which is to try you. Okay? It's to try you, to test you. It says, As though some strange thing. Happen nothing to you, man. So you claim you got this knowledge, man. All right. And that's why uh, 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 the scriptures say, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind, man. Because you have guys who claim they're about this. But then when the tribulation and the hell set in, they tuck tail and run, man. Okay. Because they didn't really get the understanding of this and what we were signing up for, man. Okay. Verse 13. It says, but rejoice in as much as you are partakers of Mashiach's suffering that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad 
also with the exceeding joy, man. Why? Because if you suffer with Yahweh Shai, what's going to happen? You're going to be glorified with Yahweh Shai. Why? Because we are joint heirs with uh, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? And there's no getting around that. There's no, no, no amount of emotions from these Christians and vocabs and shit is going to change that, man. This is all about the elect out of the nation of Israel fighting until the end and showing the power uh, uh, and strength, all right, and spirit of the Most High, okay, in the earth, man. So his name will be magnified. And to top it off, he's going to send his son back to seal the deal, man, okay, to make sure that everybody know that he, he, he is the uh, one true living power, man, okay? And if you got any uh, problems with it, his son will t uh, handle things uh, for him, man. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to grab this uh, last scripture right here. It says, Kasalaka, give me one quick second. Con, con, so lock here for that. It's uh Second Timothy chapter one and verse starting at verse seven. It says, For Yahweh hath given us this so lock here, for Yahweh hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind, man. So that's what the men of the Lord are equipped with to battle and deal with these demons and all the different things that we're gonna face on this side, man. Okay, it says, Be not thou Therefore, ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, man. So we are, we are just like Paul was. We are prisoners to Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. We're in subjection to Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. So are we better than, uh, uh, is a servant uh, greater than his master? Hell no, man. Okay. The most uh, high put hell on Yahweh Shai through that crucifixion, man. Okay. And he dealt with it, okay, for our sakes, man, all right, and to fulfill prophecy, man, so we can obtain the kingdom of heaven, man. So you think we just going to goddamn rollerblade into the uh, kingdom, man? No. We're going to have to go through things to show that we're worthy to be uh, 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 called uh, one of his elect, man. Okay? So it says, um... But be thou partaker of the afflictions. So it's letting you know, Paul will tell you, be thou partaker of the afflictions because these afflictions benefit you, man. These uh, afflictions give you experience, strength, growth, okay? Temperance. It teaches you all things, man. Okay, through these afflictions, man. Okay, it says, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of Yahweh, who has saved us and called us with the holy holy calling, man. So everybody that's claiming to be saved, if you wasn't called to do this work, okay, which first off can only be men of Ill, the nation of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel, man, okay, and been called to do this work, what work, man, teaching this word, man, the truth of it, okay, no matter what, man, and continuously into the most high uh, uh, gives us a clear sign that it's not it's time for us to not be out on the highways and byways anymore, which is not yet time, man. OK, it says not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace. That's what this thing is about, man. That's why we have to deal with whatever comes forth, because this is about the, uh, the purpose and grace. OK, of Yahweh given through Yahweh Shai. Okay, well, I'll read the rest. It says, which was given us in Mashiach Yahweh Shai before the world began, man. Okay, so bottom line, the elect is going to endure, man. That's why we say hopefully elect coined by Apostle Gabor so we can know that we have to fight, all right, in faith and works to, sh to, to make it unto the end and have that confidence when the Lord returns, man. Okay, so I'm going to end it on that, man. Lord willing, that was edification in this lesson. Uh, once again, giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rachakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace and blessings, shalom to the whole free elect.